All right, we are back at an undisclosed location. Some more Mont. Um, we have some Montes. These machines go 1,200 feet a minute. 1980s. There's the safety governor, so we've replaced one. And that thing right there, that's actually the hydraulics for the rope girder. This is your motors, the bearing back here. That's your commutator and brushes, um, your armature, and your field coils. And this up here is the solenoid for your brake, the actual springs for the brake. That is your brake drum, and those are the brake pads and where it grips onto. It's the safety governor to replace. This is where the other bearings are, the other side. This is your DC drive. This is your controllers. So the Magnatech, these are the DC drives, controllers. This is the main car supervisor. You see I'm going up. Let's get some more action. These machines are pretty deep. I apologize for moving around a lot. I'm trying to get the most action on video that I can. Those are your cables right there. These machines are surprisingly compact for 1200 feet a minute. Part of the motor. And over here is your drive. These are your contactors, ABD. This is an arc flash shield right here. So obviously there's an arc flash, pretty nasty stuff. No, oh, excuse me. These contactors are pretty loud. That's the actual drive. You can see some pretty beefy components in there. Not sure if I'm seeing capacitors. Or um, resist for um, uh, semiconductors. Very loud in here from all the AC. These AC units are loud. And I believe this bearing protector system, I believe these actually electrify the bearings to prevent rust. I have not encountered those before, but that's what I'm assuming they do. Here are your controllers. They're Myconic TXR5. Brushes need some work. Yeah, those brushes need a little work. See that one right there, it's arcing a little. Commutator doesn't look in that great of a shape motors on um, do for uh, some repairs. This is the service car. You notice this is quite an interesting machine mounting system. See over here? It's overhead. <laughs> Not overhead. Because this over actually serves up to the mechanical level and the other cars don't. As you can see this is your rope gripper. That's the hydraulics for it right there. So hydraulic lines, rope gripper falls still with me. Here's it himself, you can see the pads on it that should grip onto the ropes. These machines are pretty big. Cool stuff. Getting a good bit of action now. Sounds great. So Magnatech drives them operate at very high um, frequencies. 
if harmonicum reduction systems in there. So that's why it doesn't have that loud, typical DC drive sound you're familiar with. This is your AC unit. Looks like it's a water source unit. It's a refrigerant sign on it. And it also has some chilled water lines. Those are way too big to be refrigerant lines. Self-contained, yeah, it's a water source unit. Got the cooling towers up here. And then down the lobby, car M. Right here. Double wrapped. You see? Nice and cool in here. Leave them. Our diverting sheets are underneath here. Apologize if I'm talking too much. I'm in a good mood right now, this is awesome. thing I noticed, pretty much all the machines in these buildings seem to have bearing issues, and I wonder if this thing is actually working against what it's supposed to, but it'll obviously, I, obviously I can't confirm anything like that. 82 horsepower. Oh, it's the service. Take a look at the governor data plates in a bit. Cool stuff. Look at that thing go. Awesome. Alright, that will be about it. 